Well, the story is very simple. The guy had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He also was having an affair with his secretary ah. at work. The secretary calls his answering machine, says, I love you, I need you, I miss you. The girlfriend hears it. She freaks out. He tells the girlfriend, listen, you're nuts. He goes, this secretary of mine's crazy. <laughs> He goes, she, we're not doing anything. <laughs> Calms her down. Deny, deny, deny. The girlfriend goes over to his office. What does she find in his Rolodex? The secretary's phone number. Well, she, of course his secretary's number's in the Rolodex. She calls the secretary, gets together with her, and they, she finds out they've been having an affair. Oh. The girlfriend gets so mad that she pours paint and oil all over his apartment, cuts up all his clothing. <laughs> Look, here's his apartment, Robin. Here's pictures of it. <laughs> She left the computer intact. Whoa. That's nice. Well, look at his pants. No, she didn't. She uh, poured uh, um, uh, latex paint in the keyboard and on the side of the computer. Oh. The look, ah. look at that. Apartment is covered in paint. It's I mean, it is trashed. Come on in. Is this the guy? You the guy right here? Which one is it? Women are fighting over you? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. He's got a secretary? Dude, you, you have a secretary? Uh, yes, What I kind do. of work do you do? Uh, I own a furniture store. A furniture store? Yes. You don't look like any you stud. You own something? I don't. Oh, That's stud, Howard. Yeah, how tall are you? Five four. Yeah, he's five foot four. This is no. This is no uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier. He's Jenks with a snow. No, I, yeah. I don't understand it myself. All the broads are fighting over you. That's correct. It's the furniture store. It must be a big one. Now, this guy's no <laughs> dummy though. What he does Robin, is. Robin, I would say the same thing. The I guy's swear. no dummy. He calls the cops. Yeah. Gets his girlfriend on the phone and goes, "Hey, nice paint job," and she confesses to the whole uh -oh. thing. She didn't know he had him a speakerphone. <laughs> The cops tell him, why don't you make an appointment to have a little date with your girlfriend? Meet her at a coffee shop and we'll pick her up. Wow. He goes, he makes the date at the coffee shop. What happens? Cops pick up the girlfriend. Now they got to press charges. Now his question is the following. Tell okay. us your question. Um, do I, A, continue to uh, press charges? Go ahead, B. B, sue her and her family and, and try and recoup. There's about $50,000 in damage. Go ahead. Or uh, C, just uh, forget about it and walk away from it. And you have and advice for him. I, well, I think that... I, no, I, no, I'm asking Howard. There are three to... ways to handle it. He could walk away from the whole thing and just say it was all a nightmare and forget about it. Mm -hmm. The guy had $50,000 worth of damage, and I don't care what you tell me. This woman had no right to break into no, his apartment no and do right. this. No, she had no right. You're she, absolutely she did right. Have, yeah. She did have a key. She had a key, but she has no right to but destroy she no property. Right to destroy your property. That's correct, and that's where that's where my real issue is. Can you sue her family, though? She has no money, you say. You have $50,000 worth of damage, and How you claim... How old is she? She's 31. And, she, and you're going to sue her parents? No, for having well, basically, yeah, basically. <laughs> why are the parents responsible for a 31-year-old girl's well, behavior? Well, basically, uh, her and her mother have a, a, a joint mutual fund. With I see. Oh, oh. So you'd have to sue the mother and the daughter to get to the mutual fund. Uh, I could probably just sue the daughter, but, you know. Why the hesitation? Are you feeling guilty because you were having an affair with the secretary? Um, No, I, I don't really feel guilty. I just feel bad because, you know, in, in, in her heart, besides the damage, uh, she was a pretty good woman. I see. And the first uh, option that you, you mentioned... One is to t sue her and take the money. Oh, the other one is to press criminal press charges. charges. Well, the charges are there. She's already being, you know, by the DA's office. And but you could say, I don't want to cooperate and anymore and let it go. That's right. Mm -hmm. If, uh, basically, like I said. What does the DA say? I, I haven't spoken to the DA. You have I, not? I, nope, what I, does he say? He, they, they, the cops are saying, listen, we've got to press charges. Oh, the cops were, were, listen, were, were, were drooling over pressing charges. On them. When they walked in, they flipped out. I, think, I like think they should press charges, number one. This is a criminal activity. Did mm -hmm. you own this apartment? Uh, no, I rented it. So you rented it. You're liable for this uh, damage to someone else. Oh, yeah. Without question. Has she tried to offer you oral sex or, or regular <laughs> sex to come back to you and let her go? Well, that's why I had an affair, you know. I wanted, you know, I was getting my oral sex elsewhere. You were. She wasn't doing yeah. it at home. Wasn't doing it for you. <laughs> she wasn't doing it. It wasn't that she didn't want to. It was just that. Is there a way to reach this woman? Did you give Baba Booey her phone number? I did. Would you like to speak to her about uh, it? Well, basically what happened is uh, her and the girl that I was having an affair with got together and were waiting in my apartment before this went down. Mm-hmm. And, oh, Bob it. Uh, and basically, uh, my best friend here and I went to Home Depot because my girlfriend had called me at work saying, I just spoke to your secretary and she just told me that you guys are having an affair. Mm. And uh, we want to, both of us want to talk to you. I see. So uh, you went to Home Depot for what purpose? To get a lock. Yeah, it changed the locks. <laughs> wow, this is an amazing story. Wait, oh, Robin, wait yes. Why is the secretary upset? She, she didn't know he had a girlfriend? No, he, she knew. She wanted yeah, me so for herself. She isn't the one who trashed the apartment. It was the girlfriend. She did not though. trash the apartment. Right. So are you going to stay with the secretary? No. You were not? No. Why? That was just for... That was a stipulation. Yeah. That was just... Pl that was for play. Yeah, I basically... And, uh, yeah, I did tell her. I always tell her... And also she was acting cuckoo by calling you and leaving messages on your machine. Cuckoo. After I told her not to. Right. It was, it was, it was, because it would be dangerous to your girlfriend. Of course. All right. <laughs>
Well, uh, before I give you my decision, I would like to speak to this woman who trashed your apartment. Okay, let's see if we can get her on See the if phone. there's any remorse. Yeah. Gary, see if you can get her on the phone. You know, because you can understand it being an emotional, impulsive. Yes, I can. Act. For two or three hours, though? I mean, yeah, girl gets really mad about a thing. Is this like a white broad? Uh, Spanish. Hispanic. Hispanic? Oh, Hispanic? Oh, you're lucky to be alive. Uh, <laughs> Come on, see if there's anything. Yes. Gary's working on it right now. I'm working on it now. Okay. Yes, Michael. Your sister trashed that guy's apartment who was just in here? Yeah, well, I got a question, Howard. Sure. If it was your daughter. Go ahead. And her boyfriend put her at risk by having unsafe sex, yeah. and then he went back and had sex with your daughter, how would you feel about that? Well, I wouldn't feel good about it. I wouldn't feel good if my daughter was cheated on. But I would never advise my daughter to go and trash someone's apartment to the tune of $50,000 worth of damage. <laughs> well, that's his estimate. Um, well, whatever the estimate, even $10,000 worth of damage. What is the difference? That is not proper behavior in it, society. It, it's not. I'm calling because he went through the trouble of going to your show to claim that he was not at fault. I mean, the guy cheated for about for So about what? He is, he is not at fault. You don't think he is? Is he the only guy no. who ever cheated on a woman? Uh, you know, we would have a mass chaos in society if every guy who cheated had uh, his apartment. Plus, he's not married to your sister. He's, he was a boyfriend. No, they, they were living together, by the way. She didn't break in. Who cares? She had keys. The what guy, is he doing? What? Here's what I'm calling. That I'm calling so man. that the story's straight. Um, <sighs> the guy cheated. He put her at risk. Put her and, at risk. And he didn't have the at ball risk. Ball. He didn't put her at what risk. What does that mean? If it's, she had gotten AIDS from him, trashing oh, the apartment would not have helped. Right. No, no. See, you, you, I'm not. I'm not just. I'm not calling to justify her behavior. It, oh, you shouldn't. It's not justifiable. She did the I'm, wrong I'm thing. I'm calling to talk about him because he, he did not do he right by not, her. He did not do right yeah, by he her. Was morally wrong, but she's criminally wrong. Right. Okay. You know what he told me? He what did he said say? That he already to asked her to move out. Yeah, right. he had asked her to move out. So no, he's, 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 he's not cool condoning anyone's behavior. They weren't living together at that not point. Like they weren't living together. He's, he's, he's the guy, he's Where is that guy? Bring him back in here for a second, Belzer. You might as well be a part of this. You're a detective. You're a detective. Right. You can sort this and out. Now, was this a sex crime? No. <laughs> Special victim? You're in the sex crime. Well, yeah. Love Special crime. victims a love unit. Crime. Do you want to answer your, your ex-brother-in-law's uh, accusations? Go ahead. Yeah, your ba basically... I did ask her to move out. She's been living with her mother for the last two months. I don't know what you're talking about, Marlon. Marlon? I'll it's tell you Michael. what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is Michael, no, not Marlon. Uh, right. This is Michael. Oh, this is my Wait, no. She doesn't have a brother, Michael? No, it's Marlon. Oh. Michael, you're him, not really no, the brother, is, are you? This no, is him. no, no. I, 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 oh, he changed his name. Got yeah. you, Marlon. Sorry. All right. What's so, wrong with Marlon? Well, nice going, David. It's a nice name. I don't have any problems. I was with going it. under uh, Junior, so I know. thank you for messing it up. Right. Well, you messed my name up. What does um, that mean? Oh, so but we see, have a name I, change no, did you, entry did you feel here. a need to go to this and, and, and just, uh, if you activate the website, by the way, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Why? Because you shouldn't. Why Why go that far? What, why what, why what, do you have to gain by doing that? But he can do that. He's a lady. He, you, would you stop being a lawyer? Your sister decided to trash his apartment. He took pictures. He can do anything he wants with Why does he have to gain by doing that? Well, what does you have to gain? I guess man, I don't know. What do you have to gain by doing that? Basically, uh, is it necessary, David? Is it the same way that it wasn't necessary for her to trash your apartment, it's not necessary for you to activate the. It's got a point there. You don't really need to show that on the website, but you have every right to do it. Well, yeah, she did. Right. What she wanted. He's not showing pictures of her. Right. It's just showing pictures of what happened to his apartment. No, exactly. Right. Now, come on. You, you made the argument. Howard, there's a reason why we were going to do the website, because we know we didn't want to get the mother involved, and we know she can't pay for it. We were going to ask for donations. Actually, that's the real reason why we came down. Oh, let me write you a check uh, right now. <laughs> You're full of it, Howard. Joe. Well, listen, it doesn't make a difference. They don't have to justify why they're putting the pictures on a website. If she hadn't trashed the apartment, there'd be no pictures to take. Yeah, you know your sister no, no. did wrong. I'm not hearing remorse here. Yeah, nobody in the family seems sorry. <coughs> no, no. no, no see, one, I no told you. The, the first thing I said, I'm apartment. not calling to no, justify no her behavior. Come down. If you saw the pictures of the apartment, sir, you would not. You would be shocked. I've never seen such, such a mess. Have you ever cheated on a girlfriend? Me? Go ahead. Tell the truth, Marlon. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So, so do you what are feel? You doing on the phone? So would you think it's right when Lorena Bobbitt cuts off a guy's penis because he no, cheats? No, no. Do you think it's right when a woman I, destroys a man's home? Ouch. I'm not excusing the behavior. What I'm saying is that this guy goes in there like he's clean, like he's done nothing. I never, I never, never said he never said he didn't do anything. He never said I didn't. Your sister is your sister is not justified in what she did. I'm not saying she is. All right, so then why argue? This guy is the biggest pussy because he would not confront her. He would not talk Of course to her. not. If the girl is crazy, why would he confront her? No. She wasn't crazy. She wanted she, to talk She destroyed to him. his apartment. Exactly, because he did not give her an outlet 
Oh, oh <laughs> come on, outlet, come on. outlet. An outlet would be my body. That would be the outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could stand there and get you abused. Exactly. Anyway, hey, you, 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 you gotta live with yourself. You act.